Happy Thanksgiving. It actually is Thanksgiving. I'm going to try to post this today, too. It's just a reply to a comment. I should have looked at the person's name. You'll see the comments if you looked at my video uh, about getting the GPS coordinates of an IP address, or at least the area that they're in based on their ISP and the IP address and all that stuff. Anyway, a video I released earlier this week. Uh, the thing is, uh, someone commented that I shouldn't be sharing my public IP in my video. And although I kind of disagree with that, your, your public IP, your external IP, is not really something that's private, because any, unless you're using some sort of service such as a VPN to, you know, route things around, pretty much any service, any website, anything you're going to connect to knows your, your public IP. It's, it's not, and anyone can access it by putting in, uh, you know, ranges of IP addresses. Um, but at the same time, yeah, you know, less people know about you, the better. And especially as someone on YouTube with viewers like I have, you know, it's probably a good idea not to share my public IP because all of a sudden I'm going to have a bunch of people, you know, trying to port scan me, which I'm pretty sure if you did my ISP would block most of that. Um, unless there are creative ways to get around that. Um, but in general, I'm not too concerned. You know, I do run servers out of my house, uh, but I feel like my servers are fairly secure and monitored. I am alerted of certain events uh, on those specific machines. Um, but although I'm not too concerned about people having my public IP, I also thought about that and didn't want you guys to have my public IP, my external IP address. So actually, there was a little fakery in that video. And since someone brought it up, I'll bring it in. I've done this before in videos. Uh, that was, uh, I faked it. I faked it in that video. Although what I did was exactly the same as you would do it, and the output would look the same. Because um, it was a, a curl command. You would curl, uh, which is like wget, for if you're not familiar with curl. You know, just, just to do HTTP request. And basically, you, you give them your IP address, and it returns a GPS coordinates with, you know, your information like that. And I think it was in a JSON format. Well, again, I faked it. Uh, before I recorded the video, I ran that command, uh, and, you know, without giving you an IP address, so it does your default IP address, and, uh, what I did was I put that into a file, and then I alias the curl command to cat out that file, so that, and then I modified that file and changed the IP address and some of the other information in there. I probably changed the GPS coordinates. Now, also, I, I recorded that video three months ago, so there's... Uh, I would say in most cases my IP address has changed since then, but I monitor how often my IP address changes, and I don't think it has changed. My IP address changes usually like once a year, and I'm 99% sure it hasn't changed in the last three months. I don't remember getting that alert and uh, stuff like that. But, um, again, I ran the command before I recorded the video, dumped it into a file, modified my personal information. I, I'm pretty sure I changed the GPS coordinates as well. I forget, I probably pointed it to something specific if you look it up on, on whatever mapping service you use. Um, I'll have to look at the video because I'm pretty sure I, I picked something that it pointed to. Uh, but basically in the video, I just aliased curl to cat this file, and then everything after curl doesn't matter. So even though I was typing real commands and the output is what you would normally see, at least formatting-wise, it was actually just catting out that file. So all the information in that video, as far as the output, is fake. It wasn't my IP address, it wasn't my uh, coordinates, my GPS coordinates. It's, it was all fake. Uh, and I did that on purpose, and I, I didn't, wasn't going to say it, because um, I don't think I need to, but since it was brought up in the comments, I thought I'd point that out, and I have done that before, where I'll alias a command to cat out a file that is information that I modified just to prevent information uh, being shown to you. I think I've done it before when I'm, like, listing files on my hard drive. I'll do that, but then put it into a f uh, folder, cut out the directories I don't want, and then I'll alias the command. It's just stuff like that, you know, stuff that might expose private information. I will modify it beforehand, at least if I think of it. I'm always concerned. I am always concerned about accidentally um, displaying something private uh, in one of my videos. It's one of the main reasons I don't do live videos very often, and if I do, I probably do them on a separate machine where I booted up a live distro freshly. Um, but yeah, Good call in some ways. Like I said, it's not that important. If you guys got my IP address, it's not that big of a deal. Um, it's just, it would make, I am, you know, it would make me more of a target, but I wouldn't be too concerned about it because I'm pretty sure my systems are secure. Also, uh, changing my IP address, 
I, I, I think it wouldn't be that hard for you guys to go online and just Google my name and find out probably exactly where I live. Um, but even that, when we're doing that curl command, it's just giving the area I'm in. So I live in the swamp. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, so I thought I'd bring that up. I do fake things in my videos sometimes just to hide information like that, just to be careful. Um, but yeah, the commands will, the output is exactly what it would be in a real life scenario. I just changed the private part of that. So good call, whatever your name was, user. I apologize. You should look at that. I just decided to do this video right now. Again, happy Thanksgiving. If you're in the United States, if you're in Canada, I think I'm about a month too late and other parts of the world, you know, be thankful all the time. So I hope that you have a great day.